personally, I, 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 I don't participate much in the social media personally, directly, but my home institution does. We put quite lots of emphasis on that. IPCC is doing that as well. The IPCC is doing much of the outreach to the social media. So there is no doubt that that's very important. You know, one thing we didn't discuss until now that's connected to that is how to, you know, how to, uh, how to involve younger generations also early career scientists in the work of IPCC. That's important. And that's not completely independent from your question, because I think new generations have different ways of communicating. IPCC has to embark in there. And this is why it's also important to involve new uh, younger people, not just in the work of IPCC, for example, in TSU, and even put even more uh, chances for younger people to, to be authors, contributing authors, or lead authors where appropriate. Um, but also in the outreach function. Uh, so I think this is, uh, I, IPCC has to keep up with the times. The world is changing. There are other ways of communicating and uh, this should not be ignored. On the contrary, I think more effort has to be put in that direction. Even at the local, local level, do not, we should not forget that even though IPCC reports are translated to the main UN languages, I think it is important also that this information is spread in, you know, in terms of the local local reference, uh, other other languages to have even broader uh, broader dissemination of the IPCC findings. 